cool indeed <laughs> on its own. Well, right, well we're going to move right to Fiend. Uh, how about that one? Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. I get up to Fiend. Here we go. This is off the Black Sea EP. And like I said, you can call us at 323-962-1937 if you want to talk to us. Army of Mice. Here's Fiend. Shauna, I think some babies are going to be made. I was CD. told there there may be some babies made to my album, which I am very, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really funny because it's, it, I think it's it's very melodic. Um, definitely, right. I could see that. Um, there, it, It's very deep, though. I mean, it's, yeah. it's one of those things where uh, it was a lot of emotion yeah. uh, that went into uh, the writing. I, I remember exactly where I was when I wrote, you know, the four or the five songs lyrically. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, this one. Uh, it just helps to set that. Like this is what I'm saying. Also, uh, as I was saying a second ago, is uh, you put this on and you could just let it play. You could just put it a replay, replay over yeah. and over and over, and then by the end of the night, you might have the baby. Yeah, <laughs> the baby might happen. <laughs> might be there. <laughs> At least the spark. <laughs> All right, well, with this next one, we're going to go back in a little bit of history. Salem, 1692. Um, what do you want to say about okay. that? Okay, I wrote this song, um, and as you'll hear, 
Um, basically, I wrote this song with the idea of you, you're, you love someone, you've been there for them, you've done all you can, you know, um, in kind of your very innocent view of love and, and things like that. And mm-hmm. then they turn around and, and do something that you just kind of feels like you're just you're just kind of burning me at the stake like oh, you know you're okay. just kind of burning me at the stake and i don't even know why so that's how i wrote that's why i wrote the okay. song and that's actually the title you know was based off of you know 19 uh, salem six, witch, yeah well salem witch, tri- yeah. Uh-huh. Salem witch trials so that's why i call it salem 1692 oh very good yeah actually there is a parallel because the more it seems that they dig into those uh, that event yeah. the more they find that a lot of people were you know killed innocently yeah you know they were innocent you know that were killed and Pretty much, and that's and that's usually you know, that's how I feel. So that's what I uh, that's what I did. Execution of the innocent love. <laughs> 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 Definitely. Okay. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear. It. This is Salem, sixteen ninety two. Excellent too. Everything's just working. I just uh, the production, the vocals, everything. Yeah, you know what? Joseph did a great job. Um, you know, shout out to yeah. him as well. Uh-huh. Um, Joseph did a really great job on um, capturing what it was that I needed um, to happen with with the album. Um, also, uh, you know, just to let you know the, the you know the um, uh, it's the album's under under his record label as well. Uh, kind of as an acting acting record label, which is uh, Hollywood RX Records. Hollywood RX Records. So you can find it at um, I think it's www.hrxrecords.com. Excellent. Um, you'll find Army of My Center there as well. So. All right. Excellent. Hollywood RX Records. Now, um, have you always been singing ever since you were little? Um, okay. So no, I haven't actually. I I have kind of uh, I guess amateurly. Uh, my friend. My mom actually bought me a uh, karaoke machine when I was like 15. Really? And so I would annoy the neighbors <laughs> with singing karaoke every day. Uh-huh. Um, and then um, this whole album kind of came out of a very dark place that I was in where I was, you know, off and on with somebody and it just kind of uh, had an ending point. Uh, there's always ending and restarting point. Um, uh-huh. And so, okay. um, and so I need an outlet. And so I started singing. Wow. And that's, and, and, and basically just kind of derived all these songs from that experience that's um, over time. Yeah. So. Well, I was surprised that Bill Withers even started like writing songs late in his life as yeah. well. You know, although you're early in your life, but I mean, yeah. it wasn't something like sometimes you hear the person, oh, since I was two years old, I came out of the room and I was going, ah! Well, I, I, pu- I published my first poem when I was 15. Um, so I've always been a poet. Yeah. 
Uh, so I guess if I could, you know, kind of take it back to what I've been doing, I've been a very, you know, a good poet since I was very 15. Lyrically minded. Lyrically minded. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, well, let's let's check out the title cut. This is Black Sea. This, this is, is number five. This is the Black the Black Sea. This is the one. The one. All right, let's check it out. The, the namesake of the EP is, of course, Black Sea. Here's the title cut. So we have heard all the samples from every cut of Black Sea EP. Thank you so much for coming oh, down, thank Kishona. You, thank you so much. I mean, this has really been a great experience. And, uh, and appreciate you definitely being our guest. a great first uh, interview. Excellent. Uh, and uh, just kind of look out for um, the, the show. Viper Room. The Viper Room on Tuesday yes. uh, at 930.